Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will forecast the remaining two items of the income statement namely depreciation and amortization. To forecast depreciation and amortization we also need the details of the tangible fixed assets and intangible assets. So let us first understand what is depreciation. Depreciation is the systematic allocation of the fixed assets during its useful life. So all the fixed assets will be depreciated till the useful life of the asset. So to find the assets, we need to go to the balance sheet. So in your balance sheet, here you can see that we have the details of property, plant and equipment net. Net means after depreciation. In the property, plant and equipment, what do we include? We include land, building, machine, furniture, equipment and other assets. Okay. Only those assets will be included into it which will be used in the production of goods and services for more than one year. So only those assets will be called fixed assets which are used in the production of goods and services for more than one year. Now in the balance sheet we have only details of net property plant and equipment. To find the details of gross property plant and equipment we have to check the details in the annual report. Okay, so in case of our case study, I am giving you the details here. That company has beginning property plant equipment, you have the capital expenditure of the year, total gross property plant and equipment, net accumulated depreciation amortization and then net property plant and equipment. This was your accumulated depreciation and this is your property plant and equipment net after depreciation. Sometimes in the balance sheet, you find gross accumulated depreciation and net in the balance sheet itself but sometimes you get net property plant and equipment directly so to give you the example to show it live let me walk you through with the annual report of the company so let me first take you to the company called Colgate Palmolive this is a US based company and I will find my balance sheet with the keyword total asset So on your screen you can see we have the balance sheet and this is a consolidated balance sheet. Now here you will see we have property plant and equipment net. So this 3750 is net property plant and equipment. To find full detail about property plant and equipment like gross property plant and equipment, accumulated depreciation, capital expenditure, we need to now check schedule. So let me copy this. Control F and paste it here and we will find the details. So net property plant and equipment is how much? 3750. Yes. So 3750 is the amount which you were seeing in the balance sheet. So this amount was going into the balance sheet. So this 8580 is gross property plant and equipment and 48. 30 is accumulated depreciation and what do we have in the fixed assets of the company that is land, building, machines and other equipments. Okay, that is one. Now let me take you to the company called Apache Corporation. This is the balance sheet of the company and here you will see in the balance sheet itself company is providing you gross property plant and equipment. And it is also giving you the bifurcation of the assets in the balance sheet itself. You will surely find details in the schedules also, in the notes to accounts also. But this detail is available on the balance sheet also. In case of Colgate Pamelev, in the balance sheet, you could see only net property plant and equipment. To find full detail, you had to come to the schedule. You had to come to the notes to account. But in case of Apache Corporation, you can see the details of each category of the property, plant and equipment and accumulated appreciation and net. Everything is there on the face of it. You don't need to go to the notes to account and find the details from there. So the data can be provided in any way. Now let's come to our case study. In the very first case study in the online course, we are teaching you through a case study. We are not taking the live examples of the company. You will be working on the live examples in the advanced financial modeling course, which you will see 
after the case study is over all those videos have already been recorded prepared edited and uploaded on the lms learning management system so access has already been given to you you can check it but let us first complete this first case study so that when you will be working on the advanced financial model there will be many things which you already know when you will be doing the advanced financial modeling course you will be done with some basic of financial modeling you will be done with excel you will know financial statements you will know basics of financial modeling and learning the advanced financial model will be easy for you so my recommendation is that you first finish the entire case study at least two times and then you proceed for the advanced financial models and make industry based financial models also for this case study purpose the data of gross fixed assets is available on this depreciation sheet okay now in this video let's close this video for now in the next video we will continue our discussion on depreciation schedule thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video